Hey guys, welcome back to Tabletop Robotics. I'm Justin. Today I'm going to show you how to make an app, an MIT App Inventor, that lets you have your phone communicate with an Arduino using an OTG cable and serial communication. Okay, let's get started. So here we are in MIT App Inventor. We got a new project all set up and ready to go. Okay, so how this app we're going to make today works is, is going to be a simple calculator. So we're going to take two user input numbers. We're going to send those two numbers to an Arduino. That Arduino is going to add those two numbers and send the sum back to the phone and we're going to display it. So to start making our app, what we're going to do is set up all the connection stuff right away and get, just get that done over with. To make the phone connect with an Arduino, we're going to need two buttons to start off with. We're going to label the first button connect and the second button to disconnect. And we're gonna rename the button itself and the text displayed on the button. Okay, and we're also gonna set up a checkbox. And this checkbox is all it's gonna do is show that if we are connected, it's gonna show a check mark. If we're not connected, it's just not gonna show anything. So we're just gonna rename that to connected. And another thing we're gonna need is we're gonna go down here into sensors we're going to add a clock, we want to set the time interval to 500, and we're going to go back down here into connectivity, and right here where it says serial, we're just going to drag that over. And if we look at the properties for the serial, we're going to see it says 9600 as a bog rate. Now this can be anything, all you have to make sure is that the bog rate set on the phone is the same set on the Arduino. So I'm just going to keep it at 9,600 as a default, and the buffer size is good enough right now for my uses at least, so I'm not going to change any of that. Okay, after that, we can go into blocks. So the blocks for just connecting are quite simple and straightforward. Okay, so what we're going to do is when the connect button is pressed, we're going to initialize serial. Then we're going to do an if, call open serial. And then if that's open correctly and successfully, we're going to set the checkbox to true, meaning it's been checked. So then we're going to do the disconnect. And we'll, what we're going to do is when disconnect is clicked, we're going to do a evaluate, but ignore result, then call close serial. So all that does, it closes the serial. Then we're going to go into our clock. And when clock one dot timer, we're going to do an if statement. We're going to add an else to it. And what we're going to do is do some logic. We're going to do if serial one is initialized and open, we're going to set checkbox one to be checked, else we're going to uncheck the box. So when we run the program, if it ever disconnects, the checkbox will be unchecked. Then we can go back into designer and finish the rest of the program. So now we have all the connection stuff finished can get into the meat of the program. Now we're going to take two user inputs, add them together, and display the output. So what we're going to do is first we're going to get two text boxes, and these are going to be the user inputs. So I'm going to name one of them in one as an input one, one of them in two. And now I'm going to take in a label, put it in between the two inputs, and one right after the input, and these labels are just going to be the plus sign and the equal sign. And then we're going to get the input back from the Arduino. So we're going to get one more label, put it on bottom. And we're just going to call this sum number. And right now, this can just have a zero in it. And then one last thing. We're going to put in one button on the very bottom. Label that as calculate. And for text, we're going to write in calculate. There we go. Now for the two inputs, we're going to want just number inputs, so what we're going to do is we're going to click this little box that says numbers only, and we're going to set that for both inputs. And that is all we need for our program to function correctly, and now we can do the blocks for the addition. So here we are back into blocks, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit, and then we can start doing the block coding. So first thing we're going to do is when the calculate button is pressed, we're going to send the two numbers that we decided through serial to the Arduino where it can be added. So we're going to do an if statement. And this if statement is going to check that the serial is open. And 
that the two inputs have numbers in them. So what we're going to do is if in text one does not equal a blank, meaning that there is an input in it, and in text two does not equal blank. We're also going to check if serial is still open. So then we also need another and, and we're going to check if serial is open. So if that statement is true, we're going to send the two input numbers. Now how we do that is we're going to do serial one, print serial, and in this data location right here, we're going to make a list. And in that list, we're going to have text one text and text two text. So that covers all the sending data. Now we have to do the receiving. So I'm just going to move this code a little bit up and move the clock down because we still need to edit the clock. So we're going to make a new variable and this variable is going to be called in number and we're just going to have the in number as blank for now. So now we're going to edit this timer block right here and what we're going to do is every time the timer activates we're going to set in number to be whatever values are in serial. So whatever values the Arduino sent back to the phone and all we have to do that is in global number and all we need for that is call serial one read serial okay then after that we're going to need one more if statement if in number does not equal blank we're going to set the sum number to be equal that of in number and that's all the code we're going to need to run our program so let's head to the arduino ide and start programming the arduino so here i have the arduino ide open and a new project set up so right above the void setup, we're going to make an array. And this array is going to hold all our input numbers. And this array is going to be a float. And in this array, we're going to have three numbers. And we're just going to set them all to zero for now. Next, in void setup, we're going to set up serial. So serial.begin. And now here, we're going to put 9,600, or whatever you set the serial bog rate on your phone. They do have to match for this to work correctly. Next, in void loop, we want to check if there's any incoming serial data. So if serial not available is greater than zero, do something. Now, this greater than zero meaning that there is data coming in. If it's, a, if it's equal to zero, meaning there's no data coming in. So that's why we have the greater than zero here. Then after that, we're going to delay by 400 milliseconds. And then we're going to set in numbers zero meaning the first number in the array i'm going to set that to serial dot pause float and all this does it takes the first float number in serial and puts it into the array and then we're going to do the same thing a second time so is it going to copy this paste it again and instead of number zero we want to have number one so the first two numbers in the array are the two incoming numbers and after this, we're going to have to get rid of all the other information that's in serial that we don't need. So what we can do is do a while statement. And we do a while serial dot available is greater than zero. We're going to do a serial dot read. And that will just continue until there's no more data in the serial. And after that, we're going to do, we're going to set in numbers. And then we're going to set the third number in there. And that third number is going to equal in number zero plus in numbers one. And then we're just going to do a serial dot print in numbers two. And all that does, it just gets the sum and sends it back to the phone. Okay, so here I have the phone. It's all hooked up to an Arduino with the OTG cable. I got the app installed and running. It's all good for now. Okay, so all we have to do is press connect. We're going to have to give it permission. And press connect one more time. Okay, so after the phone is connected, we can just put in two numbers. Let's just do like 58 and uh, 23.9. And after that, if we press calculate, it should send the numbers and we get the sum right there. And you can do this with any numbers up to two decimal points. So if we do 56.95 and we just change this to like something, anything like 1 
102.68. Press calculate again. We got the answer right there. Okay, so after that, if we press disconnect, it disconnects the phone and the Arduino. Okay guys, so that's the end of this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.